morning. <coughs> Good morning. I, I don't want to make false statements and, 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 and speculations, stuff like that. I don't, I don't believe in speculations, but now, let me just say good morning. How are you doing? My name is Daniel. Dua. I hope you're well. It's a Tuesday morning in Nairobi. It's a bit overcast, which is kind of nice. I don't like the rain as much, but I like the cold better than the sun. I know everybody else in the world, for most people, they would prefer to have really hot sun and stuff. I don't know. I like um, blue skies and uh, the birds out there singing and stuff. And also butterflies and just, well, you know what I mean. No, you don't. But I like, I like to, 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 to feel the fog. I like to, that July to August weather in Nairobi, in Kenya. In Nairobi, let's say, because Kenya is, is massive and uh, even between two different towns and cities, you get very different kind of weather and temperature. I've been to the Rift Valley on one side, it was almost drought condition. On the other, it was all these beautiful wheat farms and greenery. And then when you go to Kireo Valley, you get into this foggy, especially in the hills, you get this nice foggy feel. Really, really amazing, amazing for me. Just like the place I grew up in, Guga, it was, you'd wake up in the morning and there was this fog and you couldn't see your neighbor's house and the house most one of the most amazing thing and then when the sun comes up and just the fog just goes away another place i've seen that is Masabit, where you wake up in the morning and it's happy day in the in the mountains and they just this amazing 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 fog and at 11 when you look out the fog just goes up and just dissipates i mean you in most days you cannot land in Masabit before 11 o'clock because there'll be fog so those kind of things i find to be really intriguing it's it's amazing and i love 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 the sort of things so yeah anyhow yeah so that's where we are this morning just thought uh, let me come straight to you and just uh, take it from there and then probably see how you are doing during this very difficult time. Yeah, we shall overcome. In the meantime, stay sane, stay safe, stay occupied, find things to do, personal growth, personal entertainment, entertain yourself, enjoy life with, with, with friends and families who are close to you and also just because you're in uh, isolation doesn't mean you cannot be social you can call people you can text people you can chat with each other people you can stick your head across uh, your window and say hello to your neighbor and they can stick their head out their windows and you can have a conversation that way you can talk to your neighbor across the the pond and so on. You don't have to touch each other, but I don't feel I, I don't feel like just because we're in isolation, we need to stop being humans. So there's there's a lot to digest. There's a lot to do, and there's a lot that still we do not know. But what we know, we know, and because we know what we know, let's keep going. My name is Daniel Dua. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please share with me how you get around. How you dealing with some of this stuff and what um, how this has affected you and what are some of your fears anxieties and also if you have some hacks like how you're doing some of these things how you're getting busy how you're getting occupied or you're looking up to something or you've started something because we all have to do a part you know and i feel like now i'm rambling and preaching and sounding preachy so I'm gonna leave it here, but reach out. I'm always here when I am, you know, reach out. My name is Daniel Joe. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Have a great day.